Farrah Fawcett's possible secret love life revealed in a multi-million dollar lawsuit. It's all part of a courtroom fight over a $30 million portrait of the actress. And ABC's Lindsay Davis has the story. This morning, a purported love triangle posthumously involving actor Ryan O'Neill, Farrah Fawcett, and her college sweetheart, Greg Lott. Farrah Fawcett and I reunited in 1998 until she died in a relationship, a loving, consensual, one-on-one -on -one relationship. No other boyfriends, no other girlfriends. More than four years after Fawcett's death, these two men seen in this YouTube video continue feuding, each claiming to be the love of her life. The alleged 11-year romance between Lott and Fawcett came to light during a deposition for a multi-million dollar lawsuit between O'Neill and Fawcett's alma mater, the University of Texas, over this Andy Warhol portrait. Lott is expected to testify that it was Fawcett's wish to bequeath all her artwork to the University of Texas, and in her living trust, she does indeed do that. But O'Neill claims before she died, she gave one of the paintings, estimated to be worth $30 million, to him. Oh, he's a coward and a liar. Lott says they first dated for two years at the University of Texas, then reconnected decades later. As proof of his claim, he's provided years of what he says are phone records and handwritten love notes between them. In one of them, which he purports to be from Fawcett, she writes, great food, great weather, great sex, great, great you. I think it's despicable the way he treated me. He kept me from seeing the love of my life before she died. But pictures and video both show Fawcett with O'Neill over the years, right up to her death. Photos don't make a relationship. I know what I had with her. He didn't have that. He blew it. When we reached out to Ryan O'Neill for comment, his attorney responded with a statement calling Lott a convicted felon trying to make a profit off of a relationship they call, quote, absurd and completely uncorroborated. However, Farah did leave Lott $100,000 in her trust and nothing for O'Neill. Lara, the testimony here is going to be interesting to say the yeah, least. Yeah, no kidding, Lynn. This one, not over by a long shot.